The average self-directed investor in the United States has 267,000 and change in capital. This is just the average self, self-identified self-directed investor. If that's who your list is made of, what's the investable capital that your list actually represents? Like there's people in here with well more than five million names. Like you're an access point for investors, retail investors in particular. That's an enormous amount of money. So when I, when I ask you, like, what's your list worth? That really depends, right? It depends on what you're doing with it. And so when I asked before, like, what does a trillion dollar room look like? Like, those guys in that room, they didn't own that trillion dollars. They were part of a decision making process that basically marketed ideas and made decisions about other people's money. It's kind of what you do. So like, what does a trillion dollar room look like? Maybe it looks like this. Right, just maybe it looks like this when you're talking about retail. So if our superpower is engaging investors, the editor, the person who the customer has put money down, not just once, but two times, three times, in some cases five times, um, to get their advice, to get their, their investing opinion, is going to be what? How many people in their life do you think they actually take financial, um, I don't say advice because it's not advice because it's not very specific, that's a very legal term, but who have an influence on their financial decision making? Is there three people? Is there five people? I don't think there's five people. There's not five people in my life that I'm like, when they tell me to do something with my money, I'm 100% going to do it or even 50% going to do it. So there's a very small number of people in anybody's life who actually has an impact on their financial decision making. And your best customers, that's what your guru is to them. 